Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a really quick video for you today and hopefully this will help ease some of your frustrations because I know how frustrating the Cricut can be sometimes. Um, I posted a video on how to do stickers using your Cricut a while back and in the video I did use glossy paper. However, I had issues with glossy paper because the light on the Cricut needs to read the registration marks and when there's glossy paper, I think the light bounces around too much, I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure it has to do with that. So somebody had commented to use matte uh, scotch tape to just lay that over top of the black outline, the registration mark, and I will check to see who that was and give them a shout out. Um, so I tried it and it works really well and I'll show you exactly what I did to in this video and you can see that it works for yourself. So uh, let me show you and I'm sure this will save a lot of you a lot of headaches. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the paper that I have. It's super, super glossy and this is what I used in my last video where I told you how to make stickers and I said don't use it because it gave me problems. Well, now it doesn't give me problems because of this hack so you can use it. I'll try and find out which one that was and link it below but I don't know if they sell it anymore on Amazon. So this is what it looks like once it's been printed and now I'm going to throw it into my Cricut. If you want to know my print settings and my Cricut settings um, that's in the other tutorial, I will make sure to link that below. And you'll notice when this starts looking for the registration marks, it kind of goes like much more into the middle of the design and then all of a sudden all the way to the right of the mat. And then I get an error that tells me there is a print and cut error. So I'm going to use my scotch tape pack and basically you want to just make sure you have a matte tape. So I use the scotch matte tape because if it's glossy tape it's going to have the same problem. And put that over all four registration marks. I only filmed myself putting over the one but I did put it over all four. And then you can put it back in the Cricut and hit go and you'll see that this time it has no issues reading the registration marks. I've read other hacks where people draw over top of the registration mark with a black sharpie but nothing has worked. This is the first time that it's worked. So now you can see that it's cutting it perfectly and I think ever since I upgraded my Cricut um, software I've actually had no issues with the calibration it always cuts like in the exact right spot you can see that there's even space around the design and this is the end of the process so um, the cut was really great the print was really great everything is absolutely perfect and I love the glossy paper it's my favorite so I'm glad I found this little trick so I hope that was helpful. I checked my comments and it was Kiosha Davis who left that tip. So thank you, Kiosha. That was a huge lifesaver. If you're still having issues, I would try and move out of direct sunlight or if you have a bright overhead light, move out of the way of that because I do think that lighting plays kind of a big role with how finicky the Cricut can be. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below.